Can melatonin help prevent Alzheimer's disease? Some recent reports suggest that it can. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, melatonin is a hormone that's made in the pineal gland in the brain. And late at night, when it gets dark out, it gets secreted and it helps us get into a nice deep level of sleep. But as we get older, the amount of melatonin we secrete is much less. There's a decline in melatonin secretion as we get older. And by age 40, it can lead to sleep disturbances and some in insomnia problems for people. But over and above helping you get a good night's sleep, melatonin is also a very important brain antioxidant. That's important because the brain uses about 20% of the body's oxygen at any given time. And from that, you, not only is it good for energy, but the side effect of, of that is that you produce a lot of free radicals when you use a lot of oxygen. And melatonin helps to mop up those free radicals. A lot of free radical damage is known to damage the brain. And in diseases like Alzheimer's disease, there's been shown to be a lot of free radical damage. And also, you see in the Alzheimer's brain a buildup of what's known as the beta amyloid plaque. It's a type of protein that sort of strangles the nerve cells and leads to cell death. So a researcher named Papola showed that melatonin can stop the buildup of amyloid uh, plaque in the brain of animals and also block free radical damage. So in animal studies, it looked like it could stop the events that led to Alzheimer's disease. But in recent years, we've seen some human clinical trials that are really compelling because they wanted to know, does this work in humans? So what we see is that the prelude to Alzheimer's disease is a condition called mild cognitive impairment where you start to, your memory starts to go to a certain degree. And so we've seen that melatonin provided the patients that have mild cognitive impairment has improved their cognitive function compared to the group that didn't get the melatonin supplementation. So to date, there's been four small studies done using patients that already have mild cognitive impairment who are on their way to Alzheimer's disease, and it's been able to halt the process or improve their function. So the bottom line is that if you're having trouble sleeping at night and you're over the age of 40, then a lot of doctors give sleeping pills. And we've seen recently that, you know, that may be a mistake, and I'll allude to that in a second. What I think is the right solution is, the, is melatonin as a supplement because it'll help to give these features back to you. And I like melatonin in a capsule that also contains 5-hydroxy tryptophan, GABA, and also Bacopa monieri. You can click on the link below this video to read my article on melatonin. It's called Melatonin May Reduce Risk of Alzheimer's Disease. You'll see all the evidence there. But we recently saw that giving people sleeping medications, the standard ones, the benzodiazepines and some of the ones you see advertised on TV, the prescription drugs, are now linked to an increased risk of cancer, heart attack, premature death, other health problems. That was published by Kripke in the, the British medical journal called Open in the year 2012, so it's fairly recent. So my preference is after the age of 40 for people to take some melatonin with the other agents that I talked about. Helps to improve sleep quality, protects the brain from free radical damage, it may suppress the buildup of beta amyloid plaque linked to Alzheimer's disease. Melatonin also supports immune system function. It's been shown to help decrease risk of breast and prostate cancer. So there's many benefits to the use of melatonin. So this is a really important subject. You should click on the link, read my article. You'll see all the scientific references there so you know you're getting really sound scientific information from me on this subject. Now at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review articles, footage from my live seminars, seminars other downloads and uh, resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So make sure that you use MachinoHealth.com as an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.